Hello everybody. In this video clip I want to show you four different ways how we can calculate the volume that contains a given number of moles. So let's for example we have a 0.2 molar stock solution and we need 0.06 moles. So the question is how many liters or what volume what volume do we need to take? Need to take. So the first method is really quite a logical one. It is back to first principles and it uses the famous rule of three. Uh, so what do we know? We know we have a 0.2 molar solution and this means we have 0.2 mole in one liter and this sign here this just simply means is equivalent to one liter because we've got that in one liter but we don't want to have 0.2 moles what we actually want to have is 0.06 mole and this should be in well an unknown quantity of liter and uh, with uh, this these two sort of equations we can convert them into a ratio so we have got 0 0.2 mole divided by 0 0.06 mole is the same as one liter divided by our unknown quantity of liter the x liter and we just simply can um, rearrange this equation we bring the x to this side we bring the fraction to the other side and we get x liter equals one liter times 0 0.06 mole divided by 0. 2 mole so we see the moles cancel out and uh, if we put that into a calculator we would get 0 0.3 liters so we need 0 0.3 liters of this solution here in order to get 0 0.06 mole so the second uh, possibility is to use the equation method, which is very often taught at school. So you have the number of moles equals concentration times the volume. And if we want to uh, get the volume, we just bring that to the side. So we have the number of moles divided by the concentration. So all we need to do is we need to plug in our numbers. So we have V equals the number of moles, that is 0 0.06 mole divided by our concentration, which is 0 0.2 mole per liter. And the moles cancel out, the liter go up exactly where it should be, and we would get 0 0.3 liters so that's of course that that is the equation that you need to remember if you want to take this approach a third method that very often is taught at school is the triangle uh, method where you basically have a triangle and you put in the different entities into the field so in the top field you would put in mole here would put you put in the volume liter and here you put in the concentration mole per liter and uh, what you are looking for this is what you take out so that's the liter we are looking for we put that here and we've got the liter equals mole divided by mole per liter. Uh, so all we need to do is really put in our numbers. So we were looking for 0 0.06 mole divided by 0 0.2 
mole per liter. And again, the liters cancel out, the liters go up, and we get 0 0.3 liter. So we know that we need 0 0.3 liters in order to get the requested amount of moles. The fourth method, that is really the one that I uh, prefer because I don't have to remember an equation. I don't have to remember in which section of the triangle I need to uh, put any uh, units or something like that. The dimensional analysis actually guides me by just simply using the units that I want to have. So we have 0 0.2 mole per liter. And we are looking for uh, 0 0.06 moles. So uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the volume. I'm looking for the liters. Do I have the liters uh, anyway? Yes, I've got the liters here, but they are in the denominator. Uh, but that doesn't actually matter because I can write it in such a way that the liters are on top of the fraction as one liter contains 0 0.2 mole. So I've got the liter, my unit that I want in the right place on top of the fraction line. The only thing that is annoying here is this mole in the denominator. So all I need to do is find something where we've got moles so that if I cancel this equation or this fraction that the moles cancel out. Do I have moles anywhere? Yes, I've got moles here. So times 0 0.06 mole. And what I see is the moles cancel out. The only unit that I have left is the liters here. And that is what I want. So I can stop now. So I can write this a little bit nicer. So we have 0 0.06 over 0 0.2 and the unit is liter. And that gives me 0 0.3 liter. And the Nice thing about this dimensional analysis is I don't have to remember any equation. I don't have to do any complicated uh, rules of three or something like that. I'm just simply guided by the units of the things that I've been given and what I'm looking for.